Once upon a time, there was a king who ruled the kingdom. He didn't have any children. As the days were passing by his age was also increasing, he was worried about future heir of his kingdom. So one day he thought that after him the youth must sit on his throne. So he decided to make an announcement and told his people that he will make a palace and at the door, there will be a puzzle to solve. Whomsoever solve the puzzle and open the door that palace will be given to him and he will be declared the king. The palace didn't take long and the palace was built with the puzzle at the entrance of the door. Many men and boys were excited to solve the puzzle and get the throne of the king. Many visited from outside the kingdom to solve the puzzle. There was a gathering outside the new palace and everyone was trying to solve the puzzle. Learned scholars, painters, teachers, professors came and were trying to solve the puzzle. One man who was not doing anything he was standing beside and seeing everyone solving the puzzle. The king saw the man who was doing nothing and called to his palace. The king asked the man why are you not solving the puzzle? The man replied, I am watching if anyone would solve the puzzle I will be very happy for him but if everybody fails then I will try. Then he walked out and sat near the puzzled door and started watching. At the end of the day, the crowd started scattering and only two men left who were still trying to solve the puzzle. After so much struggle they also failed to solve the puzzle. Then the man who was seeing everyone solving the puzzle stood up and opened the door of the palace. Knowing the king called the young man and asked, How did you open the door of the palace? The man replied, I thought that so many men tried to solve the puzzle but failed so there is a puzzle or not and I pushed, the door was opened. As promised the palace gifted to the man and declared the king of the kingdom. Sometimes problems in life are not so big but we think of them and make them big. So think peacefully and then try to solve the problems of life.